In last video, we have seen about the publish and unpublish functionality in the uh, in the, our blog management system. And let's see what all development we have done so far. Let me log in. Here is our dashboard which shows two options for now which is view blog and add blog. So everything in the backend is functional. So we can start with the front end development. If you see the view blog, the blogs are visible here. If you want to edit something in a blog, so we can perform some edit option without any difficulties. And here you can see that the blog article has been edited successfully. And there is an add blog button where we can add a new article in our system. So in this video, I thought of giving a quick introduction to CK editor, which is a text editor, which we will be using for blog description. So uh, if you're not aware of what is a editor and how to use the editor, so you can see how we can embed a text editor in our backend form anywhere if you want you can do that it's very simple and we will be using in this project for blog description so let's start with this we will be using ck editor this is an html editor and this has a lot of features and most of the websites now uses ck editor for their uh, purpose so here you can see the CK editor CDN. You can just click on CK editor CDN. If you want to see uh, the demo of CK editor, you can go there. You can see the demo. So this is nothing but the editor. So here if I want to type something, I want to make it bold, I want to make it italic. So it's a HTML editor. It will do as what uh, it will perform all the actions possible on the field so this same editor we will try to uh, embed here in instead of putting a, a simple text area we would be using our editor instead of that and we would be storing something uh, relevant to this uh, like this it, it can have images it can have a heading it can have a simple ULLI things, everything. So this is the editor we will be using in our system. So in order to include an editor in place of this field, we need to include all the uh, necessary files of that editor on our web page. So for that, basically, they have provided us a CDN links Either we can use the CDN link or download a complete project locally and then you can use it. For now, I will be showing just uh, by using a CDN link. So here they have shown how to start using this. So you just need to add a single script to your HTML page and the CK editor uh, would be more over the functional thing in our project. So here basically if we see our page add article so here instead inside the blog blog we have a add blog button where we are storing uh, we are just uh, loading this view so we will just open this view here and here basically we can use our ck editor code i'm just commenting it that this is the start of editor so here we just need to include a script so i'm just including it at the bottom of the page and just saving it after that uh, we require a text editor so we already have a text editor here block description so this is our text editor so 
here we need to specify a name attribute and we already have a name attribute here so this is also done and then the last thing is we need to use this script in order to use it so here i have put that script in order to initialize the ck editor what it will do is it will find the text area with name editor1 so here editor1 should be replaced with desc because this is the name of our text editor yes so this is done now let's check by reloading the page if it is working fine or not so guys you can see that we have successfully integrated the ck editor on our page so let's add a blog article blog test with ck editor hi i am blog description from ck editor what i will do is i will make this font little bigger bolder and i will also do underline for this Uh, well, I will put that in the same way and I will just add something more okay. and here is the source file which is getting automatically generated so we don't have to deal with this we just need to uh, deal with this text editor and here is an image let's put some image for our article let's have this image and i will just save it so you can see that the data has been inserted successfully on the page if i go to the view blog section you can see that the html part is already displayed here let's go in the edit part so in the edit part also we need to implement the same thing because you can see that it's an html editor so here html code has been shown uh, inside the field so what we will do is we will include the same thing on this page also so this is nothing but the edit block page let's check what view it loaded so here is the edit block so it's loading the edit block so here admin panel this is the same thing what we have we have to do there also here same code i will just copy it and it's a good habit because this uh, ck editor is only required in place of forms where we want to use the editor so it's better to include it on the, those pages itself wherever you want to use it or you can create a separate file also and load that particular file so that uh, it is easy to manage if we have lots of files and here also let me check what is the name of the text field okay the text area is description itself so i don't think so uh, any changes are required here so we have loaded the script and we have uh, initialized our ck editor by finding the name attribute of description for text area so let's try and reload it it should work fine so guys let's update it and check if anything is changing or not okay so everything is working fine so this is the way uh, we have created our backend for article management so this completes our complete backend for the project. So this is a mini project and we have successfully implemented our backend. In case guys, if you have any queries, you can put that queries on the comment section. I would try to resolve as many as I can as soon as possible. I usually give all responses to all the queries I found in my comment section. So I will encourage you if you have any queries put the put your queries on the comment section 
I would try to resolve it as soon as possible. So this completes our backend completely. So from next video onwards, we would be working um, from on the front end part and we would try to fetch all the blocks and place it in a view where the normal user can view all the articles and uh, whatever admin has posted from the back end. So thank you for watching guys. Hope you like, subscribe and comment below if you have any sort of doubts.